Hello everyone, this is Liu Xiaona. My oral presentation is based on an article related to note taking and students' listening test performance. Here is the title, and here is the overview for this presentation. I will mainly cover five parts. So the first part is、um, about the introduction. Actually, the researchers have interest on this、uh, topic is because he noticed that note taking is really conducive to students' academic success. And actually, in most of listening tests, he find out that note taking is allowed. And according to previous research, he noticed that actually many researchers have done、um, research on this area. He noticed that note taking quality is influenced by the listening competence, and also note taking in an outline format has many advantages.、Um, what's more, high proficiency students and low proficiency students perform differently with outline format. With high proficiency students perform better、um, compared with lower proficiency students. So he come up with two research gap. He noticed that the connection between L two test takers note taking quality in terms of main idea, supporting ideas, and minor details, and the performance of on different listening sub skills has not been investigated. And also, not many research is conducted with L two learners, but L one learners. So he come up with two research questions. He wants to figure out that how does test takers' listening proficiencies influence their note taking quality and the performance on an open ended listening test, and does this connection change based on different note taking formats? And he also wants to know that to what extent. Does test takers' performance related to that of the later listening test, and does this connection also change based on different note taking formats? So the second part is about the methodology used in this research. The researchers include two hundred and fifty seven L two test takers at UCLA, and he used a listening test called ESLPE and the test takers notes as the materials. So in the listening test, um, he used. The TLU domain is academic English learning, and、um, he used a video clip, which is about a lecture, to as the material, and the questions include a eighteen open ended questions with five on main ideas, ten on details, and three on inference. So for test takers, knows he um have half of the students use blank paper to take notes, and another half of the students use the outline format to take notes. Here are the two dependent variables. The first one is the, about the students' performance on different ling, um listening subjects, such as main ideas, explicit details, and inference. Another one is test takers note taking quality in terms of the numbers of recorded main ideas, supporting details, minor details, as well as the structure of the notes. So here is the first finding. The researchers find out that test takers' listening proficiency has a significant impact on their note taking quality and the performance in open ended listening tests. Um. What's more, note-taking quality can more accurately reflect the listening proficiency compared with open-ended questions because the learners are able to、uh, take down all the information that they hear from the test rather than、um, limiting themselves to a set of items. He also find out that the so- association is relatively strong while using an outline format. Just also find out that using an outline format to take notes show a higher correlation between test takers' performance and their later listening test. So here come up with my first critique, which is based on the test design. I think the construct validity of this test has some problem.、Um, this test items include five questions. Related to main idea, ten questions related to details, and three questions related to inference. 
I think it cannot accurately reflect the test taker's listening proficiency, because、um, according to previous researchers who mentioned that、um, the test taker's notes of topical ideas might be one of the best indicator for their listening proficiency. So, which means that the student, if they can understand the main idea of the lecture of the listening test, then the listening proficiency will be higher. But the current tests mainly include detailed questions, where students are expected to recall specific details to answer the given question rather than comprehend the main idea. So my second critique is also related to material. Actually, I noticed that they use video、um, in their listening test. I think it might affect test takers' auditive listening ability.、Um, as according to previous researchers, they mentioned that the body language and the facial expression in the video can influence listener's performance because video reflects many. Um, features of the TLU domain, which can help the test taker to understand the content, but not really their real listening ability. But actually, I do have some takeaway from this article. I think as a teacher, if I want to accurately assess students'、uh, listening proficiency, then I will consider using a combination of tests,、um, such as note-taking tests focusing on topical ideas, combined with traditional listening tests. But if I want to make it simple, then I would just provide an outline format for my students to take notes to get a more accurate result of their listening competency. So, like、um, the picture in here. So that's all of my presentation, and this are the, all the references that I use in this oral presentation. Thank you.